The safety stopper is designed to increase worker safety by getting away from blowing gas when renewing or removing service tees. The safety stopper toolkit model 2500 BV is specifically used for gas free service tee renewal or removal on three quarter to inch and a quarter manufactured or homemade open gut pipe tees with malleable caps operating up to 80 psi. The overall operation is simple. Two special o-rings are fitted over the tee. The base of the tool consisting of two half collars and a threaded housing compresses the o-rings creating the seal and provides the threads to attach the ball valve. Attachments are then fastened to the top of the ball valve to remove the cap and place an expandable plug below the branch to stop the flow of gas. Once gas is stopped, renewal connections or service cutoffs are performed gas free. To begin, clean all components of the safety stopper equipment prior to use. Clean the area of the T where the beveled O rings, half collars, and housing will be positioned, removing all corrosion and scale so that the beveled rubber O rings will seal properly. Now we will show the entire operation on a typical inch and a quarter service operating at 60 psi. Loosen the cap to break the initial seal. This will make the cap removal operation possible. If necessary, use penetrating oil and a long handled pipe wrench to loosen the cap. Select the correct sized beveled o-rings to the tee size and place both over the tee. One with the bevel side down and the other with the bevel side up. Pull the beveled o-rings together and under the cap. Select the correct size half collars and place under the bevel o-rings. Simultaneously hold the half collars in place while fitting the threaded base adapter housing over the T. Tighten the entire assembly equally and alternatively using the wrench provided taking care not to over tighten. Fit the safety strap. This strap is simply an extra safety precaution. Once the adapter base housing is fully tight, fit the ball valve on top of the base housing. Tighten the ball valve until it compresses the o-ring located at the bottom of the threads on the base housing. Fit and tighten the viewport onto the ball valve. Pressure test the safety stopper assembly to mains operating pressure prior to removing the cap. To do this, connect the air test assembly to the quick connect fitting and open the chrome plated ball valve. Introduce air through the Schrader valve until the gauge reads the same pressure as the mains. If the safety stopper holds pressure, remove the pressure test assembly and open the chrome plated ball valve to release the air. Next, remove the viewport. Fit the T-handle assembly with the correct size cap removal insertion tool onto the shaft by lining up the shaft dimple with the grub screw. Tighten with the Allen wrench. Do not over tighten and make sure to lubricate the T-handle shaft with the supplied grease. Fully retract the cap removal insertion tool into the T-handle assembly housing and tighten onto the ball valve by hand so it compresses the O-ring located at the top of the threads on the T-handle housing. Make sure the bleed valve is in the closed position. Push down with two hands to lower the T-handle assembly so the cap removal insertion tool engages the raised castings on the head of the cap. Begin loosening the cap. When the cap is felt 
are heard skipping over the threads of the T, the cap is fully removed from the T. Make sure you keep slight downward pressure on the T handle to prevent the gas pressure from pushing the shaft up unexpectedly. Retract the T handle with the captured cap to above the ball valve. Close the ball valve and bleed off the excess gas using the chrome plated ball valve. Remove the T handle assembly. Fit the viewport and use a flashlight to look down through the T to make sure there are no obstructions within the T so the rubber expansion plug can be inserted below the service branch to stop the flow of gas. If there are no obstructions, choose the correct size rubber expansion plug and attach it to the expansion plug insertion removal assembly. Make sure to grease the shaft prior to use. To attach the rubber expansion plug onto the shaft in order to expand the plug into the throat of the T, hold the expansion plug with one hand and with the other hand hold the end of the shaft. Push the stem end of the expansion plug into the hole inside the shaft and turn the shaft counterclockwise so the expansion plug pin engages the offset keyway. Then gently turn the small T-handle clockwise until you hear it click. Measure the travel needed in order to expand the rubber expansion plug below the branch by lining up the lip edge of the housing with the lip edge of the ball valve. Push to extend the shaft so the top washer of the expansion plug lines up below the service branch. Make sure to keep the shaft straight. Mark the distance using the reference collar. Fully retract the shaft and fasten the assembly onto the ball valve. Hold the shaft in the fully retracted position with one hand and slowly open the ball valve, taking care to prevent the shaft from moving upwards unexpectedly. Push the shaft down to the reference collar. Simultaneously, hold the shaft into position and turn the small T-handle clockwise with two fingers to expand the plug. Tighten until noticeable resistance is felt and do not over tighten. Once the plug is fully expanded, open the chrome plated ball valve and bleed off the excess gas. When you stop hearing the sound of blowing gas, the service has been successfully stopped. To detach the expansion plug from the shaft, push and hold down slightly on the shaft, pull up on the small T-handle, and turn the shaft clockwise until the plug disengages. Retract the shaft above the ball valve, and then close the ball valve. Fit the viewport and open the ball valve. Look to check the expansion plug has been properly inserted below the branch. If the expansion plug looks properly inserted, you may perform renewal or abandonment operations as per your company procedures with the safety stopper assembly attached. Once renewal or abandonment operations are complete, the expansion plug can either remain in the T or be removed. To remove, simply reverse the rubber expansion plug insertion steps. To complete the operation, a malleable cap will be refitted using the cap removal insertion tool prior to removing the entire safety stopper assembly.